Hello everyone, it's Sharif from Rebel Tech and I'm back with another episode of Max Gen Tutorial. So today I'm going to quickly showcase the new patch I made for Lich. It's called CGL, stands for Clock Generating Looper. And it's a fun little looper I made which generates a clock based on the loop that you recorded. So let's have a little overview and see what it does. So before I jump into the nitty gritty of this patch, let me quickly explain what's going on with the patch. So the main feature is when you record the first loop, it analyzes the length of the loop and generates the clock based on that length. Once the clock is generated, any overdubs or replacement loop that you record will be quantized to that generated clock hence safeguarding the timing of your live looping. It also comes with pitch shifter and distortion, so you can do some tonal experimentation with it. And those effects are always on, so you don't have to loop anything to use the effects. So if you're not really into live looping, you can use this module as your pitch shifting distortion unit, as well as a clock generator. And for those who already got hold of Lich, you may realize the module comes with the MIDI host capability, which let you access more parameters via MIDI CC message. So we're gonna cover some of the functions of that side of things as well. So without any further ado, let's dive in and check out what each knobs and buttons would do. So recording a loop is really, really easy. All you have to do is press LED A to start the recording and then press it again to stop recording and instantly looping what you recorded. Once you start recording, you can see the gate out LED start flashing, indicating you've started the clock. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some kick and some hi-hat so we can actually hear the loop being in time with the rest of the modular ecosystem that you have. And now I'm going to play with the clock multiplier, which is assigned to MIDI CC 75. As you can see, as I change the value in the fader, I can change the speed of the kick and hi-hat, starting at the original speed at the bottom of the fader, going all the way up to four times the speed of the original tempo. So what this clock generator is doing is analyzing the length of the first loop that you recorded and basically dividing that length by four, creating quarter note length given you recorded a one bar loop. You can then multiply that clock by double, triple or quadruple, creating eighth note, eighth note triplet and a 16th note accordingly. If you want to delete the loop, all you have to do is press LED button B and it will wipe the loop completely. One thing to note is even if you delete the loop, the clock will still be going on until you record a new loop, which then the patch will update the clock length. So let's get the loop back and I'm gonna show you what each knobs are gonna do to the sound. So 
the knob A, that is your pitch shift octave down going past 10 o'clock. Put it back to noon to go back to the original pitch or going past two o'clock to go up an octave. I've also added a little stereolizing effect on the pitch shifter and you can control that via MIDI CC76. And what it's basically doing is randomizing the phases of the delay lines of each channel doing the pitch shift. One thing to note is this sterilizing effect only kicks in when the pitch shifting is occurring. Uh, when it's on the original pitch, it doesn't kick in. So just watch out for that. Okay, so let's move on to the knob B. This is your distortion and your window size control when you're pitch shifting. So again, it's the same principle. Window size modulation doesn't occur while the recorded loop is in the original pitch. Okay, moving on to the knob C, that is your low pass filter cut off. It's a super mild one pole low pass filter with no resonance. And the reason why it's there is just to have an extra tonal control because sometimes when you pitch things up and also adding lots of distortions, things can get really pingy and it could turn into a bit unpleasant. So it's there for you to have a little bit more control. We now move on to knob D. So what it does is it actually controls the level of ongoing loop which kicks in when you start to overdub a new loop on top. So let me put the beat back in and I'm gonna play with the clock multiplier so I can have a nice little groovy beat going on so I can get into the groove a little bit more. And I'm gonna look for another chord to overdub on top. And when the knob is turned completely clockwise, what it's gonna do is it's gonna retain the level of the original loop as it is. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and figure out when to actually start overdubbing a new chord. Okay, so I've now successfully added a new loop on the top and the original loop is completely intact. If you don't really like this loop, what you can do is to turn the knob D completely anti-clockwise and what it does is when you hit the LED button A again to overdub a new loop, it will delete what's going on and let you replace the loop with the new material. So let's see how it sounds. And there you go. The old loop is gone and now we only have the new chord I just recorded. So you can basically use the knob D to create a mix between the old and the new loop. So when you want to mix both, you can turn the knob to say one, two o'clock. And what it's gonna do is it's just gonna turn down the original loop slightly, which let you emphasize what you recorded on top. And you can basically kind of play around a little bit and find a sweet spot for your live looping pleasures. Okay, that pretty much sums up what this patch can do. I hope you enjoyed it and I sparked your interest for the next few episodes of Max Gen series where I'm gonna break down what I've done in Max Gen to create this patch. So stay tuned. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment. If you haven't hit subscribe button, please do so you can get the notification for the future episode when it's uploaded. And don't feel shy to hit that like button. Well, thank you so much for sticking around and stay safe 
and happy patching. Till next time. See you soon. Bye.